for the goddamn hell yeah, y'all. So before we get started, I want to say I appreciate those that understand me and my logic. And granted, I think we all are here to go against each other anyway, to be honest with you. Because you have your way of thinking, and I have my way of thinking. And the reason why I'm talking like this is about to be a video is because it is. Okay? Um, that's number one. Number two, I want y'all to know that these people that we are speaking about are grown as hell. Yeah. Krishan grown. Petey grown. Blueface is grown. Jaden is grown. Everybody is grown as hell. So when a person shows you who they are, you believe them. Every time a situation happens, I miss y'all too. I'm, I'm going to speak to y'all about the streams. Just give me a second. Every time something happens with Krishan, it's the same cycle, respectfully. It's the exact same cycle. Something crazy happened. She go live. She show her location. Everything that will have anybody worried to shit. Okay? She does it unapologetically and she gets off and she comes back and she does it again. <laughs> so with that being said, she don't she didn't only do this today. She did it last week. She did it the day before that. She did it the day before that. Two weeks before that. Last month, last year. So the whole like, you should hold Krishan accountable. I don't know if y'all know the difference between accountability. And people, they do, people that do whatever they want to do, you can't even put the two together. A person that does what they wants to do means that they don't give a damn about anybody else around them. They do what they want to do. That is Krishan. Krishan does what she wants to do. And as a grown-ass woman, she got the right to do so. But with the people around her, like Petey, Petey shouldn't be around. Period. I'm going to have to read the comments because um, I see comments coming in and that's y'all are the ones I want to talk to. She watching people like you who keeps defending her. Stop defending her, bro. No matter where she goes, she's always in drama and evil follows her. That's a fact. But how am I defending that? If that's who she is, how can you defend that? That's who she is. What am I defending on that On that end is what I need to know. <clears throat> For those that have something to say, please say something. Because I really want to talk to y'all. I, I really, really do. I want to know, <clears throat> how am I defending someone that does what they want to do anyway? That don't make sense to me. I got to know. But I'm going to let you respond. What I was saying was, Petey's a grown-ass man. Petey knows what Krishan does. Petey, <laughs> it's so bad, Blueface went hunting for him to whoop his ass is what Petey did. I mean, uh, Blueface. And Krishan ended up right back with that fool. How can you hold that accountable? How, how how can you give that situation accountability? Especially to Krishan, because Krishan ain't going to stop fucking with Blue. It don't matter what he do at this point. He has done all of the worst things that you can ever imagine. How can you hold her accountable for what she's already going to do? I'm in here. PD is her brother, and he needs to learn to wise up and stay away to focus. He is wise. He's the one in D1 college. My sister went to college, and sometimes I'm, I'm kind of smarter than my sister. I always say, bitch, ain't you the one that went to college? Because if you got enough sense to read plays, which look like Spanish to me, 
I know you got enough sense to know that if I come around you, I might fuck around and get shot. I might get jumped. I might get my ass beat by your baby father. Should I be telling Petey to hold himself accountable? Or Krishan, who's going to continue to do the same thing she's been doing? Because guess what she does? What she wants to do. Life is short. She can do so. Y'all do know that, right? So with that being said, if she going to end up doing that by herself, that's who the fuck Krishan would be doing that with. I would be watching my sister from the sidelines is what I would be doing. Period. He knows what to expect. He needs to keep on the safe side and just stay away. Hello. Did someone get shot? No, not from what she said. He knows what the he knows what to expect. He needs to keep yeah, I read that. Um somebody else said something. And to the person I was talking to, where did you go? <clears throat> Why is it not putting yourself in harm's way? Hello. Someone come to the 20 V with a with a gun, pistol whip someone, rock went live. Petey did not want her to because he can't be involved in nothing. Okay. You just giving a synopsis. Um, Petey knows what he is Petey knows wait. Petey knows what he is following her to do, and he knows she's gonna go live. So I'm so confused how he tried to take control and get defensive about her clearing the air before it hit the blogs. Going wild. I'm going to tell you what the problem was with that. You cannot go live when you're at the location and you're Krishan. That's the biggest place Krishan went wrong. But for some reason, y'all don't be hearing that accountability part. She shouldn't have never went live at her location. You just don't do shit like that. And you're Krishan. For some reason, y'all don't be hearing the accountability part. I just have to repeat it. That sound better. Because somehow Krishan is my boss and I can't say what I want to say. I don't, I don't understand. But I do all the time. <laughs> you cannot go live in the location you're at and be Krishan or Blueface or anybody. You know what I'm saying? Not even me. I don't do that. Krishan was... 20 minutes away from me. I knew exactly where she was. Right at the time. But thank God, I'm not a stalker. <laughs> thank God, I don't do shit like that. I'm like, oh damn, Krishan, like 20, that's she right up there. That's crazy is what I said. Then I also said, wait a minute, she don't need to do this because I know if I know where she at, so does a lot of other people in Atlanta. I didn't know when Boosie was there. I didn't know when all these other people was there because they didn't go live. <clears throat> she put her life on the line doing that shit. Yes, she did. But Krishan does this. So, Petey, the hell are we talking about, y'all? <laughs> you can't make somebody be accountable that don't listen. Girl, that damn Petey couldn't get a word out. She don't know what Petey was trying to say. But this isn't new. Stop playing with me, y'all. <laughs> Krishan say what the fuck she want, and she do what the fuck she want. Hell, I'm happy at the fact that she stays consistent with what she wants to do. So with that being said, the people around her already know how she move. Y'all already know how she move. And you still decide to put your D1 scholarship on the line? <laughs> Do y'all think that's smart? I mean, why are we not holding PD accountable if that's the case? Krishan, do what she want. DN, nigga. The end. That's how that goes. I do what I want to do. I'm the one making the money. I'm the one taking care of the family. Petey, I'm the one taking care of you. 
When she out here spending money, nobody has a problem. We don't hear any of this shit. Hello. We don't hear none of this. See, y'all don't want to keep it real. Y'all just want to be mad at Krishan. I don't like Krishan. I just hate Krishan. Krishan the worst person in the world. But y'all ain't holding the rest of the people accountable? Fuck are we talking about? That's crazy. <laughs> he don't want to leave her by herself. All right, kiss your D1 scholarship the fuck goodbye. Kiss it goodbye, nigga. You want to be around your sister or you want to go to college and play football? Which one? You decide. She's not staying off the internet. This is her job. She's not staying off the internet. Yes, she... Hold on. Neek who, Neek who went live. That's the only way people find out her location. She's a liability. I know. You think I don't know that? But guess what? You can tell Krishan she's a liability right now. And Krishan will tell you God is on my side. And she will go live right now at her location again. I don't know about y'all. But I don't speak to the person that keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. <laughs> y'all can do that. You want to know what that's called? Preaching to the choir. Yeah, no. Krishan do what she want. Have we not gotten that part done yet? Have, are we not done with that? I mean, come on. Who the fuck feel like talking to a rock every day? I'm not. So with that being said, Next, nigga. Uh, you want your scholarship or you want to stay with your sister? And I, I bet you he would stay with his sister. So, Petey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Period. In the earlier live, she basically told them dudes she wants someone toting, uh-huh, so it went the way she spoke about it. And guess who knew that before he walked in the building? Petey. Petey knew. I would have been like, oh, y'all going to have guns there? I'm a D1 student. You know what? I'm going to stay my ass at the hotel. You can call me a bitch. You can say I'm scary. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'll be scary, gang. I'll be scary. I'm cool. I'll be scary. I'm going to be at the hotel, though. I I'll see y'all when you get biked. You know what I'm saying? Is what I would be doing. That is what I would be doing. You hear me? What's going on, Grape T? Yeah, he shouldn't have been there at all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm just not understanding how nobody else wants anyone else to be accountable, but y'all keep screaming to Krishan to be accountable when she's telling you. Krishan has, how many times she got to say, I do what I want to do. How many times do we have to hear this? And she will tell you, you either going to be a part of the circus or not. Hell, she even gives you an option. And you still choose to be around her knowing that you're a D1 athlete. I'm just wondering if y'all little brother can come to y'all house right now. And scream at you and say, get the fuck off live. Straight up standing on business, uh, great T, on God. 
None of y'all can come to my house right now and tell me to get off live. None of y'all can tell me to get off live if I'm outside. And you damn sure ain't going to tell me to get off live yelling at me. <laughs> this nigga's screaming to the top of his lungs. Get off live. Nigga, I'm grown as hell. Get out the car. You get out of my car. Let's stop acting like we ain't been through this shit. Only thing I haven't done is consistently went back to somebody that treated me like shit. Her and Blueface, I'll never understand it. But this shit right here, get the fuck out of my car, nigga. You about to keep yelling at me, telling me to get off live? I'm on here. That's what she decided to do. Y'all calling her crazy for deciding to stand on business the fact that she wanted to go live, but not calling him crazy for yelling at her to tell her to get off her own motherfucking live. <laughs> This is fucking stupid, man. This is crazy. I don't understand. I also want y'all to know in this video, Krishan does not pay me. Google does. Google pays me. I say what I want. I go with logic in the situation. And I'm going off of what happened. And I'm also going off the person. And Krishan has made it very, very, very clear that she does what she wants to do. And she's going to continue to do what she wants to do. Point blank, period. So guess what? I made a player decision because I know that that's what she going to do. All right, well, at least let me talk to the people that, <laughs> that, that'll that listen at least. Y'all could keep yelling and screaming and crying about what Krishan is doing. Y'all better uh keep paying attention to the circus like she told you to. Like real shit. She said, you either here for the circus or you're not. Okay? Baby, I'm here for it. But of course, I don't want anybody to get hurt, but... <laughs> if Krishan want to put herself in, harm, in harm's way and continue to, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> I know she was putting her location in danger and that's the, and that awful, but she doesn't see it and she's going to do what we know she's going to do. So PD know that I'm yelling. No, 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 that him yelling was crazy though. Facts. What are you yelling for? Like you about to make me get off my phone, nigga. Move around. <laughs> if she was in her own, he, and he's always trying to make her get off live. If she was in her own home, he probably would have stayed at, he probably would have stayed, but she's at Blueface house and he most likely didn't want to stay there. I'm confused, nigga. They not even in LA. What are you talking about? That nigga was screaming hella loud, right? Get the fuck off the love. Get the fuck off the love. I'm out. You ain't got to tell me twice. I'm out. I would have called an Uber in a minute. Like I said, I'm my age was in the process of transitioning to all this shit that y'all have the, um, the luxury of having today, like Uber. Bitch, I'll get me an Uber in a minute. Do you hear me? I'm out. I would have, Chris, I would be like, what are you doing? Getting an Uber. Why? I'm not about to be a part of this shit. I'd rather do that than scream to my top of the lungs for you to get off live. That's stupid. <laughs> You're wasting your time. If she doesn't go live, people write their own narrative about rock. When she does go live, they say she need to stay off. Damn, if she do them, she don't. So she simply say, fuck it, I'm going to just do Listen, she can't win either way, so she do what she want to do, period. Listen, life is about doing what you want to do. Now, other people got to make their own decisions for their own grown-ass self. Fuck is y'all talking about? 
I'm thinking Petey was scared that their location would have been seen and the people with the G words would have came after them. I think that's what he was thinking. Probably he was scared as hell. But that's why he should have left. Maybe if he said it calmly like K Suave, she would have got off. No, K Suave was a nigga that she potentially wanted to be with. You're my little brother. Shut up, move around. Krishan, do what her man tell her to do respectfully, not her brother. I'm just saying. Y'all don't like to hear, but that's who the fuck she is. That's who she is. <laughs> like, stop. Y'all be wanting me to talk like, like this a fairy tale or some shit. I'm a realist. <clears throat> I'm a, I'm a, I'm realer than what the fuck you think. How about we talk about who she really is, what she really stand for, and what she really going to do? And that's what the fuck she want to do. How about let's talk about that? How about y'all get used to that part? Petey been acting crazy on her about going live. It's crazy. Every time she go live. So I, Petey, get the fuck. Because you're, you're clearly wanting to be a part of the circus. Watched her yelling and cursing at her mama. She do what she want to do. She was getting her bag. She had no clue that shit was going to happen. <clears throat> that house is gone. She's not in that house anymore. I think he realized that today he has to make better choices. <laughs> He's. Uh, does that not sound like the same thing? How many times... You got to go through the same thing with Krishan to realize, oh, shit, I might lose my scholarship. Y'all didn't hear him say, uh, you, you ain't doing nothing to help me get my scholarship. As you in my car telling me to get the fuck off my life. I don't have to help you do shit, nigga. He clearly depends on her. If y'all didn't notice that either. You ain't doing nothing to help me get back in school. Uh, that's not my responsibility. I'm your sister, not your mama. She was just in that house at the on live before LA. Oh, I mean before ATL. Okay. If PD has nowhere to go as well. So once again, I ask, are you going to choose your scholarship? Or are you going to choose the lifestyle with your sister? You got a choice, gang. Krishan already made her decision. Y'all can miss me with all that. Um, you ain't holding her accountable. Uh, you can't hold the unaccountable. She does what the fuck she wants to do. And hell, I'm happy at the fact that she stand on that. I ain't going to lie. People that live their life and do what the fuck they want to do, I like them type of people. Even if it's dangerous, that's what the fuck. At least she real about it. <laughs> she says she going to do what she want to do. But when you when you got Petey over here like, man, you trying to lose my scholarship. All right, nigga, it's time for you to do something to not lose that scholarship. You just want the content. It's content all over the internet. All over the internet. It's a shit show on a daily. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's going to be content regardless. You just want to be in my comments. Have at it. Keep it up. I ain't told one motherfucking lie, and y'all know it. Y'all just want people to be like, fuck Krishan, I hate Krishan. I don't like her. She's the worst person in the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> but not holding none of the rest of the people accountable is bullshit. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't get with that. I can't get with that. Okay, I don't even want to repeat that, Sean Nine, but right, because God forbid, but the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> I've been doing reaction videos way before Krishana Blueface. That's what y'all don't know. B. 
been doing it. Y'all, treat April like she not in here. Y'all know we don't argue back and forth with them. Say one thing, keep it moving. Let her talk to herself. Next. Thank you, friend. I love you, Nick. You're one of the few realists here on the shit show. <laughs> keep doing you. Thank you, friend. I'm just glad she's not going back to Zeus. She said they were trying to set her up to get jumped. Yeah, Krishan don't feel safe with this Zeus situation. And most of the time, she be right. However, I ain't gonna lie. Krishan crazy for turning down 150 million. I mean, bitch, 150,000. She's crazy for turning down 150,000. <laughs> Krishan said, I want 200,000. Let me say that I'll give you 150. She said, fuck that. <laughs> Hell nah. I would have took it and I would have paid for my own security. And Lemmy would have, he don't dare tell me I can't bring my own security, nigga. Fuck is you talking? I would have spent 50000 on security. I'm not denying 150000 for 50000 No, two hundred k was for the reunion. That was for a two-day shoot. <laughs> Sis said, run me my 200 for these two days. That's giving her fees 100000 a day for that, uh, for that uh reunion. You know what I'm saying? But baby, run me my 150. I'm gonna spend 50 on security, and my security can fight your security. I don't I, if I was her, I wouldn't trust their security either. I don't trust their security with none of them outside of Natalie and Lemmy. That's who they look out for. They're responsible for Natalie and Lemmy. Even if he offered me a hundred K. I'm doing it for 100 k But I will have my own security, period. I would have said, bet. Give me 100 k I'm bringing my own security. I would have took my motherfucking 100 k Since we had 100, I'll make sure I found security for 25. I'm still leaving with 75,000. <clears throat> I would have explained to him, I don't trust your security, period. I do not trust your security. He does not have good security for those girls. Somebody going to get hurt bad on one of them shows because his security be like, oh, shit, Natalie and something. Okay, even if it's 100K, I just told y'all what I would do. If it ain't 150, cool. I would take the 100, though. I definitely wouldn't go less than 100. <clears throat> ain't nothing wrong with knowing your worth. Ain't nothing wrong with standing on that business. It ain't nothing wrong with that. But ain't nothing wrong with 100,000 either. I would have took the 100K. That's my opinion, though. I would have. She didn't. I would have. Who you think would win the fight between Rock and Tesseki? I don't know. I don't know. I've seen Rock still off. I haven't really seen her, like, fight. Like a full fight? Hell, I haven't even seen Tesseki fully fight. All they show... What's her saying? Let me teach you, shorty. That's, that's all we got. So I don't know. Let me teach you, shorty. Let me teach you, shorty. She hit the bitch a few times. Next thing you know, we're going to the next episode. I didn't fully get a full fight from Tesseki or Krishan. So I don't know. I will say that that fight Krishan got in, when that girl was talking to her, like backing her in the corner, um, when the, like the wall was behind her, it was bunk beds and like the girl came in, it was a whole bunch of people behind the girl 
And the bitch looked away or something. She act like she was saying, basically, we got to fight. She kind of looked away. And Krishan mocked her motherfucker. Got her motherfucking ass. And when she hit, she hit hard. <laughs> she hit hard. They say Krishan sneak up on people. Nigga, street fighting has zero rules. None. This is not boxing. <laughs> Girl, you can hit her whole jawbone her, or whatever this is right here, cheekbone, whatever the fuck. You can hear that when she hit that girl. Right. Hell, I don't feel like she snuck her. If, you gonna, if we're fighting, you're close to me, and you ain't paying no attention, or we about to fight, you close to me, and you ain't paying no attention, that's not my problem. I'm going to beat your ass, period. Even when she hit low London, she left lumps on her forehead. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, Krishan, the one that put uh persuasion in the sink or something. <laughs> it don't matter if she sneak people or not, y'all. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fighting is fighting. I've always been told ain't no rules in street fighting. What are we talking about? I don't care if she took dirt and put it in the bitch eye and whooped her ass. A fight is a fight. This ain't boxing. She got to sneak you. And? <laughs> so? like, what? I don't know. The shit that y'all care about, I do not care. I really don't. I really like. And I'm talking about. I don't care about, like, y'all trying to say, like, I'm, like, taking Krishan's side. This is some shit I would say for myself. Like, Nick threw salt in my eye before we fought. Like, you ain't have to throw salt in my eye, or you ain't have to pepper spray me first. Yes, the fuck I did, bitch. This is street fighting. I did what I wanted to do. Also, I'm a person that does what I want to do. Period. I don't give a fuck. What none of y'all talking about. So with that being said, I keep trying to tell y'all. I keep trying to tell y'all. Y'all think Krishan paying me or some shit. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I get paid by Google.com. Shit y'all care about, I truly don't. I don't. And I will do the same shit. But I would not go live at the um at the place I'm doing the event at. Fuck no. Y'all don't hear that part though. We don't hear that. It's called accountability, right? Y'all act like y'all want me to be like, Krishan, you better not go live again when you have a 20 verse somebody again. Well, I'ma I'ma pat you on the hand. Like, fuck out of here. She's a grown ass woman she do what she want and she tell you that yes she will but that's what she is choosing to do that's what she want to do that's what she gonna do hopefully pd get enough sense to do what it is that he wants to do somewhere else <laughs> I'm not a Krishan fan, but was uh, I was until she told us to get off her dick, so I did. Man, you are what you answer to. You are what you answer to. Jaden fans need to bounce by. <laughs> Where Jaden fans at? <laughs> I'm starting to like Jaden, y'all. See, people ain't gonna like that either. But Krishan to pay me, y'all think that I would tell Krishan? I, I would, I would. But I'm just saying, I'm 
I'm a grown ass. I do what I want. I'm starting to like Jaden. I honestly wish Jaden would go live more. <laughs> but I do like Krishan. I think she's a good person. I just think that uh, she just don't listen. She, she just don't fucking listen. That's going to get her in some shit. Jaden been low key as hell. I like it. This is like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj right now for me. And not in comparison. Oh, my God. I shouldn't even said that. Not in comparison to Cardi and actually Nicki. Just saying. I like both. I'm starting to like both of them. So it is what it is. I wish Jaden would stand up for herself more, too. But you know what? Krishan ain't doing no goddamn better. I was so pissed off when I seen her ass in court with that man. But I will say, Krishan said, bitch, she gonna do what she wanna do. That's why I fuck with her. I fuck with the fact that Krishan do what she wanna do unapologetically. I fuck with that. I do, because I do the same. I don't give I don't give a fuck. I do what I want. When I want. You know what I'm saying? But I like Nikki. I like Cardi. I like Jaden, and I like Krishan. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know, when you start talking about people, people ask you like, well, what is it that you like about such and such? Well, I like the fact that Krishan stand on business. She don't give a fuck about nothing you talking about. Which is very dangerous. It's a dangerous way to live. But that, that's how she want to live. That's how she want to live, right? She do what she want. The end, nigga. Jaden, I like her, her calmness in certain situations. How she, you know, don't be trying to throw nobody up under the bus. She don't like to throw Krishan up under the bus. She's always asked about Krishan for the most part. I know that she did, has done petty things, but I'm just saying. For the most part, she just kind of be chilling. I like that. Um, I like that she's starting to get that that little stardom together. You know what I'm saying? I like how these women um, like recite her songs. It's kind of dope. With the way she's starting to perform, it's kind of dope. I will actually go see her perform. Um And yeah, I just don't like her to be a pushover. I don't like neither one of them to be a pushover. But here, both both of them are at this point. So it's like, that's what I don't like about both of them. Case okay, Suave was to distract us from the fact that Krishana Blueface was still messing around behind the scenes. She, she ain't going nowhere at all. Here we are. Hey. Yeah, here we are with that one. I like how they who they are regardless. Facts, friend. I love a person that stand up stand on business. It is what it is. So it's time for Petey to start standing on some business. Okay? I don't know, uh, Chrissy. I don't know. I don't know, Chad. I don't even care. <sighs> she put that money on blue face. Oh, books in jail. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Um, I'm about to pull a Deshay move. And probably stream every day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do 30 days. I'm going to try like seven. But I actually got what I need to stream outside. And yeah. Sorry, stop. But yeah, y'all follow me on Twitch. 
Um, I'm about to get off here in general, though, because I'm about to start cramping. But, yeah, man. You can't hold somebody accountable that don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. So, you reach out to everybody else. PD, if you want your D1 scholarship, better sit your ass down somewhere else. Because <laughs> this is the circus. This is the circus, baby. We are here. You know what I'm saying? We are here. So, that's all I got. But I love y'all, and I will see y'all later. Did you already talk about the baddies? Yes, I reacted to it. But um, I got a, it's echoing. I'm sorry, y'all. It's echoing. It's echoing, man. Yeah. Young Miami, Armand going back and forth. I don't know what happened. Bye, y'all. Bye.